A movie theater that has been around since the 1920s was in jeopardy if it didn't upgrade its projection system. And today, the Ritz Theater in Clearfield thanked the community in a special way for all of their help. Lauren Hensley was there. She tells us why community members worked so hard to save this theater. Lauren? Well, Mel, the community was thanked by the Ritz Theater by a free showing of the movie Grease. Now, the community came together to help fundraise so the movie theater could afford a new projection system, and now they can play favorites of today and yesterday. For many of these young moviegoers, terms like the hand jive, go grease lightning, and tell me about it, stud, may be a little outdated, and so is this. When the Ritz Theater opened in the 1920s, film was the only way to show a movie. Now these film projectors are a thing of the past. In June, a movie lover herself formed a group to help the Ritz Theater get the equipment it needed to keep their doors open. We needed to help save our heritage here. This old theater's been here since 1928. It took community fundraisers and a loan to purchase this $67,000 new projector. This is how movies were sent to theaters on reels. The box weighing roughly 40 pounds. Now the movie is sent like this. It's on a hard drive that weighs around three pounds. As of this week, the loan has been paid off and to celebrate, the theater hosted a free screening of Grease. Dolores Amon Taylor says even with the changing technology, it's a place that will never go out of style. Just being a part of this place, you can't, you can't see it go. You know, and I worked here uh, my last three years in school, 1946 and 47 and 48. I just like the entertaining of people. I like to hear people laugh and smile. And if they're watching a the movie here in my place, it makes me feel like I'm part of that. And the fundraising efforts continue. The goal is to purchase a second digital projector. And you can learn more about community events and fundraisers by logging onto our website. Click on the As Seen on 6 News tab. Reporting live, Lauren Hensley, 6 News.